Hi everyone, this is Jupiter Jim and I'm at my live active blog, Jupiter Jim's Marketing Team. Now I'm going to scroll down just a little bit. Now this opt-in box right here, I just embedded some code from Aweber into the multimedia box. So the multimedia box that comes by default with the thesis theme is right here. Now under that I've placed two additional multimedia boxes. You can see them. Here's one video here and there's another video under, underneath that. Okay. Now the purple border right here, I'm going to show you how you can create that also. I'm only going to show you how to add one multimedia box beneath the default one. Okay, now the first thing we need to do is open up this file. This is in Notepad. Now all the code right here is going to be in my blog post. The blog post obviously is going to be in Jupiter Jim's marketing team and I haven't created the post yet but this is the month of February 2011 so you can look for this particular post by date uh, today's date is the 18th so somewhere around there or you can look in the tag cloud under multimedia box and you should be able to find the post with this video and this code Okay, step number one, we've got to highlight this code right here that says start of second multimedia box by Jupiter Jim, end of second multimedia box by Jupiter Jim. It's three lines of code. Press Control C to copy, Command C if you're in a Mac, deselect, minimize this. Now here's the demonstration blog. You can see that the multimedia box has the catamaran in it, and under that there are the two sidebars. There's no second multimedia box. I'm going to click on this tab here. This is the tab in my browser. I've already logged in to Jupiter Jim's marketing team. I'm going to scroll down here. You can see the thesis tab. And then scroll down here and click on Custom File Editor. That brings you automatically to the custom.css. Now, since we're already in the CSS, you don't need to click Edit Selected File. I'm going to do it anyways, just to be thorough and to have some good habits here. I'm going to scroll down. I'm going to put the cursor right here, press Control V, as in Control Victor, and that's going to paste those three lines of code that we just copied, okay? Then click the big ass save button. You've got to save your work. Now, something else I didn't show you, if you want to change the background, I showed you where we had a purple background. That is this code right there. So let's just change it to, let's say, maybe something orange. Okay, what you do is you click there, you highlight that code, control C again, double click on that, hit backspace, and then control V, control Victor, that's the military alphabet for V, to paste that in. So you get FFAC1C, make sure the pound sign stays there, and make sure you leave that semicolon there. When you're done, once again, click the big ass save button. We've got to go back to the Notepad file. I'm using Notepad. If you're in Mac, you should be using TextPad. I'm using Notepad because I'm in Windows. Okay, next we're going to, um, well, we've got to get the embed code for the video that we want to put in here. So I'm going to minimize this. I've already picked out the YouTube video that I want. I'm just going to play you a few bars if you will indulge me. Anyways, go down here, click Embed. Okay, now I like to make sure that it, where it says use old embed code, I like to leave that checked. You can try to do it without it. I don't know if it will work. This is just the way I always do it. 400 pixels wide, it automatically sticks the height in there. And you can see right there where it says 400 and 255. Now I'm going to click in here once, it highlights everything. If, in case you don't believe me, I'm just going to drag that down. Click in here once, press Control C to copy all of that code. Go back to my notepad. I'm going to highlight all this. Click backspace to delete. Control V, Control Victor to paste. Okay, now I'm going to highlight everything here where it says start of second multimedia box by Jim, and then all the way down to end of adding second multimedia box. Control C to copy. Command C if you're in a Mac. I'm going to go back to my blog admin panel, scroll down, get the drop down menu, custom functions, PHP. Now we definitely need to click edit selected file there. 
Once you do that, you're going to get this little pop-up box here. It is critical that you read that and follow that. It's not a formality. It's very easy to screw up the PHP file. I've done it myself. When you do that, oftentimes your whole blog page becomes blank or the back here becomes blank, the, the dashboard and the admin. It's a nightmare. Now, if you have FTP access to this file in the server that holds all your WordPress files, you can re-upload the original file and all will be well. If you mess around with this file without first having an FTP connection, you definitely do so at your own peril. You can learn about FTP, for instance, FileZilla, CyberDuck. If you're using Mac, use Transmit. You can look, search Google or YouTube and get information on how to use those programs. Anyway, so I'm going to scroll down here, and then I'm going to scroll down. We're actually in the file. Okay, you can see there's that little angle bracket. I'm going to hit the... Um, enter or return button, press control V, control Victor on the keyboard, and now you can see I've pasted in all that code from my notepad file. And once again, all that code is going to be on my blog. Okay, um, I hit big ass save button. I'm going to do it one more time because I can't remember what I, whether I did or not amidst all this talking. We are done. That's all we need to do. I'm going to right click here open link in new tab now if you're in a Mac you're going to what you're going to do is press the control button then mouse over this and you'll get that drop down menu I'm gonna click open link in new tab now I want to warn you that most of the time right away you don't get that second multimedia box underneath you're gonna have to wait a while for everything to propagate and process maybe it has something to do with the cache browse in the browser I don't know I've done a lot of I've emptied the cache in the browser, I've refreshed a million times, so it doesn't always work right away and it did not work this time either. So I can hit refresh up here, press the shift button and then hit to refresh or reload, it still doesn't work. Sometimes clicking on another page, for instance the about page, and there you go. So you've got the background, it's the orange background, You've got your second multimedia box. That's really all there is to it. If you want to go back one more time, go with just to change that color because the orange is a little bright. Click Edit Selected File. Scroll down here. Pick a color. Just click in there. It gives you colors. We'll go with blue this time. Copy that code. That's the called hexadecimal code. I just did Control C. And we are going to double click in there press control V to change big ass save button make sure you save the pound sign and the semicolon um, back here I'm going to hit refresh and it changed to blue as you can see very easily and that's all there is to it adding a second multimedia box with a YouTube video in it in your WordPress blog using the thesis theme thanks for watching if there's a like button below this video please click it if there isn't, please leave comments. I'd love to hear from you. That's what keeps me motivated. Thanks and have a great day.